Hi, you guys. Welcome. Welcome back. My name is Carrie Penny. I am the Happy Crafty Homemaker. And today I want to start a new series, Yarns I Love and Why. So I get asked a lot, what yarns do I go back to all the time? What yarns do I genuinely love? What yarns would I recommend? Oof, that looks so silly where I pulled that yarn up. Um, I don't really have a favorite yarn. To me, every yarn has a purpose and there's a purpose for every yarn. So when you're talking about your favorites, it's really hard. But there are lots of yarns I really enjoy working with. There are lots of yarns from a lot of different manufacturers that I really have enjoyed working with over the years. Many of these are not going to be things, if you're familiar with my channel, you haven't heard me discussing before. Um, but this would be kind of just a little bit more of a highlight series of why I like a yarn, uh, where do I tend to purchase these yarns from, stuff like that. I mean, just basic information about why I recommend these yarns or why I use these yarns as often as I do. So without further ado, if you read the description box down below, I'm pretty sure it told you we're going to be discussing one of my all-time favorite go-to acrylic yarns. This is the Premier Anti-Pilling Everyday Yarn. I tend to use the worsted weight just because worsted weight is what I use the most of, but I have been a collector and a connoisseur of this yarn for quite some time now. To the point, I still have quite a few of the branded Deborah Norville balls. Um, this is the old, old, old packaging. And I do have some of the just premier everyday anti-pilling yarn. Um, colors that I pulled out at random here just to share with you guys. This is Lagoon. This one is Red Rocks. And I just love that color. I still have no idea what I'm going to do with it. But I love it. I love it. And then this one is wild blue. And then this is also all anti-pilling, including the, this is the pooling variety, but this is, or yeah, everyday plaid plan pooling. Um, so why do I love this yarn? And I think this is actually the new, newest label for it. Number one, it's super soft. It's got a nice natural sheen to the yarn without being um, slippery. The colors are phenomenal. They There's like four or five different shades of gray, which I've mentioned before is my all-time favorite neutral. I That is my go-to neutral color in general. I tend to wear a lot of blacks. So I, it, it is a nice pairing to go with a lot of my wardrobe. Um, and then I just, you know, things like grayish and grello and things like that. Like I love the combination of how gray makes colors pop and they're their best. Uh, the combination of black, white, red, and gray. That extra gray just gives you something grounding with that very stark black, white, and red. Love it. So I've got a nice color complement that I can work with with this yarn. It is very, very soft to hand. It's got a nice drape. It has a beautiful stitch definition. I've done color work with these yarns. I've done, you know, corner to corner blankets and stripes with these yarns. Um, I've made baby sweaters. Uh, it holds up great for baby wear. There is now a DK line. They also have some of the other yarns that they're producing in the same fiber, like the, the plaid yarn there. Um, some of the cakes come in this, I don't want to say formula, but it isn't an acrylic yarn. Um, but in this fiber style, um, so you've got a nice variety now to work with, with this. Now I, I've, I've mentioned this before, but it's been a long time here on my channel. So I've been at the crochet and knitting game now for 30 years. I started crocheting, well, 31 years ago. Um, no, 32 years ago. Oh, I'm getting old. <laughs> it's okay. Getting older is better. It's better than the alternative. Um, yeah, so I've, I've been crocheting now for 30, 32 years. And I've been knitting for like 12 or 14 years. Um, I'm still learning new things with knitting like regularly. And even with crochet, I still frequently learn new hacks to make it better. But, uh, back when I started number one, the only things I could afford were like Karen Simply Soft and Red Heart. 
as I got older, I was able to afford better yarns, but there really weren't that many great yarns on the market. The next uh, step up in acrylic for me really was Lion Brand Vanna Choice. Um, and I've used that. I still have a whole bunch of it. I still use it quite frequently. If I find it on a really good deal with a color I don't have or a color I know I use, I do still purchase quite a bit of Vanna's Choice. So I'm not saying I don't like that yarn anymore. But when Premier launched the anti-pilling line, it was branded as the Deborah Norville Collection Anti-Pilling Worsted Weight Everyday Yarn. This became my automatic go-to. And the first color I bought is this beautiful color here. I bought, when Joann's marked that color out, I bought a whole bunch there. I bought everything in their clearance section. And then Hobby Lobby at the time carried it. I bought everything that they clearanced out. I paid like $1.50 a ball for every single skein that I got and still think that it was well worth my money to buy it at the 50% off discount, especially at Hobby Lobby, which was a little bit harder. Uh, they weren't doing the 70% off like they do now. Uh, I loved it. I've loved it from the word go. I have loved the way it works. I've loved the way it feels. It holds up fantastic. So this blanket has been to Hades and back many times over. It has been thrown through the washer. It has been drug across the floor. It has been kneaded on by cats. It has been covered up with and laid on and probably peed on by kids. It's, um, yeah, my grandson used to use this blanket quite a bit when he was staying with me for a while uh, during the days. Like this would be like the blanket on the love seat so he could curl up and take a nap under it. Um, it is, this has been loved. Now it sits on the back of my sofa down here. So when I get cold, I can just wrap up in it on the sofa down here or like when I'm in the craft room. This is the furthest point from our heat, uh, HVAC unit and the th thermostats in our house. So like this room in particularly does get kind of cold, uh, and the fireplace in here, the gas logs are really loud. <laughs> the fan on them are really loud. But uh, yeah, so I have been sitting down here, you know, card making or something and gone and grabbed this blanket off the sofa and used it to throw over my shoulders. It, it has been drug around, pulled around. Like I said, it's been beat up. But you can tell for a blanket that's been loved this hard, washed this much, used this much, and used this much with little care. This blanket still looks really good. I mean, not quite like new. I mean, you can definitely see where like, you know, being drug on the floor has kind of brought up some fuzzes. But this just, even since I moved in here 18 months ago, this blanket's been through the washer at least three times. Washer and dryer three times. And I finished this blanket, I think, eight years ago. It was before my granddaughter was born. So it's at, at, at least eight, if not nine or 10 years old. Um, and it's been a mainstay in circulation in my living room used for every occasion possible since then. Uh, it is just amazing how nice this continues to look, knowing how hard that blanket has been treated. It has not been treated with love or care at all whatsoever. And it still looks that good. So that's one of the reasons why I'm still like all over this yarn and constantly using this yarn for things that I know are going to be manhandled and used constantly and continuously. Not only is it a pleasure to work with, not only do you get good stitch definition, not only does it hold up really great in the wash, it goes on sale reasonably and can be very budget friendly. Um, I've seen it on sale for as low as $1.25 a skein at big box retailers. I know other people can find better deals than that sometimes. And even buying it directly from Premier, you can get it for almost, you know, that dollar to a dollar fifty range sometimes. Uh, I do tend to buy these on clearance. That's what the neon colors are. These were purchased on clearance. This is the neon blue. I also have a violet. This one is called bright violet. Um, you know, I do tend to purchase on sale. I do make a point to try to purchase on sale or clearance and stock up. But like when I did my dad's Christmas blanket last year, it was all made out of Premier Antipilling. 
And I did purchase some of those colors specifically for that when it was on sale. And I think I paid like a dollar seventy five a stain when it was just on a regular sale. Um, so it can be a very budget friendly yarn. It is, if you're in the U.S., very easy to get your hands on the anti-pilling line. Joann's carries it. You can order it directly from Michael's. Sometimes it has cropped up at Hobby Lobby over the years. Um, I think uh, there's somebody else who recently said they were going to start carrying more of the Premier yarns in general. But I do frequently just order directly from the Premier website. I think it's easier in a lot of ways. You can definitely... Where did this yarn come from? Here. You can definitely uh, sail hop with this, though. And their website, actually, one of the reasons why I enjoy ordering from their website specifically is their pictures are very true to color. So when you're online and you're trying to coordinate, say you're doing a project with four colors and you want to make sure you've got all the same kind of tones in your project, they're a really good website to order directly from because they do have pretty true two color pictures and photography on their website with these yarns. So I, I just really think it's that good. I, I think it's worth the, the $2.99, $3.99. It's like regularly $3.99. I frequently find it for $2.99 on sale, but then like I said, you can get it as low as $1.50, $1 $1.99 too. I mean, it's, but it's easy, accessible yarn. It's yarn that most people in the U.S. can get their hands on. It holds up so well. Uh, I'm still amazed. Um, yeah, this blanket's held up. The baby sweater I made is now on its fourth kit. It keeps getting passed around. Um, I've done baby hats with it. I've done outerwear with it. I've done uh, scarves, hats, uh, fingerless gloves. Uh <sighs> The fingerless gloves that uh, I made for a friend of mine wore out before the backs showed anywhere. Um, they were using their hands quite a bit and it just literally the fiber wore away in the palms. Uh, so, you know, it's one of those you're getting longevity out of it. It's really easy to work with. I've never pulled a skein out from... I probably use at least 75 different colors. I've, I don't really notice. There is sometimes a slight thickness difference between certain colorways, which is normal with even with any kind of yarn. Uh, but I haven't noticed a texture difference where like one color just feels really bad to work with or really, really good compared to the others. It's a very consistent line size and color wise. So I always know what I'm getting. Once I used it that first time, I've gotten the same product year after year after year after year of using this yarn. Um, so yeah, I would definitely say this is my go-to acrylic yarn. If I have a stashing possibility where the sale is super good, this is the acrylic yarn I'm going to be stashing. Uh, it's just that quality. And I, I love how many colors it comes in. And I love that I can make a project for just about anybody using this yarn. Last year on my no buy, obviously I used quite a bit because I'm down to only two cubes of this. Um, none of this, all of this is Lion brand. These two top, top and bottom here are, are my anti-pilling yarns, um, or worst away to anti-pilling. I do have a couple of the, uh, DK color stripes on my cake wall over there, but yeah, I clearly have used quite a bit of this over the, the, the last year and a half and I still love it. I, I'm still constantly pulling from here. If I've needed extra, I bought it. I'm, I'm down to like two balls of black and eight balls of white now. Um, so I would say that's kind of a testament of how much I use it and how much I like it. Um, it just is that good. And I, I still say and maintain that this yarn forced other big box yarn companies to up their game in making a yarn that is nice to work with, comfortable to work with, is an up-to-date color palette. Uh, they, they've definitely done a really good job with keeping 
high quality aesthetic in this yarn. Um, I wish I still had a skein of this left, but I've just, I've used it all. I mean, at one point I probably had 30 or 40 skeins of it, but I mean, when you look at the tonal variation in this variegated yarn from the pastel section here, that's more speckled, then you've got that deepness with this variegated section and then that deep red and the deep green. It's a really, really nice saturated at the time I bought this, you know, 10 years ago, contemporary color palette. They're constantly expanding this line and adding new things and doing different things. Like the plan pulling yarn was a new thing last year. Um, they just released the full collection of the DK weight yarn in the same style as the worsted. Uh, so yeah, I'm that, that really is like the first mainstay to my stash I wanted to discuss. And that's why, I mean, it just really is all that it advertises to be. It doesn't do anything that it says it won't do, but what it says it'll do, it 100% does. It's soft, stitch definition, drape, and then holds up. So you've got something that you can throw in the washer, throw in the dryer, easy wash, easy care, and never have to worry about. It just... <laughs> So yeah, I, I, I love it. I really do think it, it's a great mainstay. It does cost a little bit more than like Red Heart. Um, but I think the quality and the pleasure of working with it makes the extra cost worth it, especially when you can find it on a, a reasonable sale. Um, so I do sale shop for this, but when I'm stashing it. But I've, I've mentioned before, that's how I stash anyway. I stash during big sales. So that should, should surprise anybody. <laughs> I cheat. Uh, but yeah, I, I can't say enough good things about it. I have not had a problem with anything in this collection so far. I haven't had a problem with manufacturing. Yeah, everybody's going to have a bad ball. Everybody's going to have a bad run of yarn. Um, but once again, I've had less issues with the Premier and Premier's customer service has been excellent in the past. I have had a couple balls where it was so problematic. I had to contact them and be like, hey, yo, this ball sucks and I paid full price for it. Can we get a replacement over here? Yeah, we'll get that in the mail to you real fast or we're out of stock of that. Can we send you something else? Um, is there a different colorway that'll work in your project? Um, they've I've had zero issues with their customer service over the years. So I, yeah, uh, <laughs> I know that doesn't sound like that exciting or anything, but that's why I love that yarn. That's why that's a go-to yarn for me. And that's why that, that particular yarn is a mainstay in my stash right now. So I hope you guys got something out of that and I didn't just babble on too much, but I love you guys. Take care and I will see you guys real soon. Bye guys.